All right, everybody, uh, we're in King City. This is the King City Cemetery. And here we are at the gravesite of Reuben Morphine. Uh, he's the young American boy I mention a lot. He was executed by an illegal alien. Uh, and you can see he was four days after Christmas. Uh, it was like uh, not even a month after his 13th birthday. And his crime, quote unquote, was he told this illegal alien gangbanger, I am an American. And uh, I know about us now because his mom, Angie, is here. Thank you for bringing me here. I, I know it's tough coming. Um, you had mentioned that you, it's this is about 50 miles away from home, pretty yes, much. It yeah. Is. Yeah. Um, if you don't mind my asking, with the recording and all, um, why, why is he buried here and not like in Salinas, Salinas um, or in Monterey? Because I wanted him buried with his dad. His dad's here. Wow. Okay, I get it. So this is dad right here. Got yeah. it. Okay. Makes perfect sense. You have your your extended families here. Yeah. Those who've passed on, your 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 adopted father or your yeah, and this is your, your real dad, and that's um. That's all of uh, Ruben's family from the dad's side. Wow, and your son. And my Willie, my Willie's up there. Really quick, I'll check. Gosh, really quick. Um, he passed away pretty only three years after uh, Ruben. What what happened? Um, he went to a party and uh, on Halloween and. Uh, I guess the, the the American born. I, I call them the American born Latinos went crazy trying to prove who had more power, and uh, they started shooting each other, and they ended up killing Willie and two other boys that night. Wow. Different so, street gangs. So it was a it was a gang war that it was erupted. Like a gang war in their own in their own gangs, I guess. Yeah. So it's uh, and it was a gangbanger, an illegal alien, who killed, murdered, murdered Ruben. Yes. Okay. Remind me what what ended up happening? Did they they caught they caught him? He, they, he actually ran back to Mexico and uh, he was hiding in Jalisco, in the state of Jalisco. And uh, after four years, they aired his story on America's Most Wanted. They got word that he was in in a certain little town in Jalisco, and they went in there, put a warrant for his arrest, and uh, he was. That was like in February when they got word, because that's when the. America's Most Wanted came out in Good. July of that same year. Right. I got word that he had already been caught and he was being sentenced. He Good. actually got sentenced 20 years at a Mexican state prison for my son's death. In a Mexican prison? Yes. Right. Yes. A, a real hard time. Well, yes, he did hard time. Yes, he did. I don't know if he's alive or what happened with him because I've tried to call and I think the two detectives that were on the scene back then, or the agents, they have retired since, and nobody ever seems to answer that phone. So I don't know what happened with him, if he's out or if he survived the 20 years. Mm -hmm. And I know in 2014 was his 20 years. I noticed you have two different photos. You have one commemorating him there. And uh, tell me a little bit about this one instead. Is that him younger, or was that like the last photo of him taken before he... No, actually, that picture and the other ones that you see are all on the same day. Oh, they're like, were they like the school picture he took? No, it was a, it, somebody came to my house and took a family picture. Back then, the people came to your door, knocked on your door and asked. Okay. Me, and we did a family thing that day. Well, that's good. But he, they did a, a lot of different poses on him. For some reason, the guy really liked him. Okay. And did different poses just on him. Okay. And those are the pictures I use. Okay. <laughs> and he actually looks... In this one, I think this is the one where he thinks he's tough. Yeah. Yeah. He had to move Actually, down. I do remember that one. Yeah. Okay. And then there's the other one where he's looking at straight at you and he's smiling. And That's the one like, you have yeah. right now. Yes. Yes. That's the same day, believe it or I not. I see him. It's yeah. the same sweater, too. I see yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I've, there was something you had mentioned about when you come here, like a, a sense of presence or something. Would, 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 do you mind uh, sharing that? or I don't want to... That he's here? Do you feel you do you feel like he's not here anymore? Or I do you... don't feel like he's here anymore. I just feel like his little body's here, his little bones are here, but his soul and his spirit somewhere else, like free. Mm hmm Because when the yeah. day after he died, that's the first thing that I dreamed is that his little spirit was just flying around happy. That yeah. he told me in his that dream that he was finally free. Wow. 
I remember you mentioned the America Most Wanted program. He had another dream about his dad. Do you remember that? Yes, that his dad would drive up to my house. Yeah. And tell him to get in the car, that he was going to take him somewhere where he would never suffer anymore. Yeah. And that his grandma was waiting for him. Yeah. That dream would scare me. Was it was that a recent dream he had had before he was murdered? Uh, he had it like four times before he was murdered. Oh my God! Wow. That's yeah. Pretty startling. Yeah. Okay. Okay. He actually, uh, in October of that year, he actually told me his last dream. Okay. He wanted me to bring him to King City. He wanted to see his dead family. Wait, you mean the 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 burial site? No, his real fa oh, well, the ones family. Oh, family. Still alive. They were still alive here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That he wanted to meet them. Because he really didn't know them. Okay. And he made me drive him. I hate driving on the freeway, especially <laughs> from King City to here. I mean, from Salinas to here. And mm -hmm. I actually drove him because that was his wish. And uh, wow, that was the first and the last time you seen him. Wow. And that's that's an interesting request from a child. Usually, they don't like driving long distances either. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's really touching. Yeah, I feel like he sensed something was going to happen because that day he died on. Uh, I told him to wait for me.